Good morning, grade sixes. We are moving on to percentages today, but um, you have already done them without realizing it. Your, in your last exercise, you were writing decimal fractions as common fractions. So if you had a hundred equal parts and you colored in 19 of them, 19 out of 100 is 19% because percentage is always out of 100. You know when you write a test that you are hoping to get 100 out of 100. Full marks. So let's look at exercise 116 and let's do some of the problems there. In question one, they give you pictures and they ask you to write them as common fractions and as percentages. In number two, they ask you to write common fractions as percentages. So if they give you 73 out of 100, your answer would be 73%. In question three, they ask you to write decimal fractions as common fractions and percentages. So if you have got 0, 0,28 and you are asked to write it as a common fraction, it would be 28 out of 100. Because if we look at the columns, there are our units, these are our tenths, and these are our hundredths. So it ends in the hundredths column, so your denominator must be a hundred. And 28 out of a hundred as a percentage is 28 percent. In question four, they are asking you to write percentages as common fractions and as decimal fractions. So they're just going in the other direction. So if I've got 75 percent and I want to write that as a common fraction I know that percentage is always out of a hundred and the answer is 75 out of a hundred and if I want to write that as a decimal fraction it would be 0 comma 75 because it's out of a hundred so it must end in the hundredths column. 